Alright, now that I have eight ruins, I'm feeling a bit better about hammering away at this boss. Let me... So, was this a charge? Wait a minute. No. And also, I thought I needed to press the button twice. It's a one hit does that. So I guess, oh, that's a lot of blood. So yeah, two-handing stamina, Alexander probably is fine. I could go for fire resistance. It upsets me greatly that this is what we got for our utmost damage of holy negation when uh, everything else is this shield. Uh, fire negation might be a good idea. And more so than the physical. I could always put that on as well. We'll have to just see how it goes. I did not boost myself. So, already off to a good start. At least I dodged the second part of that. Okay. Good start. Of gold shall all be dead. Well, I'm glad we had such a fun time with, um... With Romina, because back-to-back struggles might not have been the funnest thing to do. I need to also look, I don't remember if I put like a fire crystal shard on or not. I might have done that for funsies. Yeah, you just start with that. If I can dodge both hits, that would be nice. Please. Please. Of God, That's so many strikes. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Yeah, I'm feeling the embrace of the flame, all right. Probably not great to like immediately go in with a weapon that I'm not used to also, but we're going to work with it. Let me look at those crystal wondrous flasks. No, I did not. Okay. I think I thought about doing it before and I didn't. So, um, consecutive attacks maybe is okay. Break enemy stance. Seem to work really well with my sword, but I don't think that's really effective right now. Um... Technically speaking, halberds, I think, are workable with the shield. Do I want to consider that as an option? It's a heavy load right now. But I'm curious if it does actually... No. Spears only. Not halberds. Okay. I mean, obviously, you could still work with it. I don't think we really need the perfume for this fight, so let's uh, not worry about that. And let's remember to boost. Probably should have done that too. I wonder if my, um... Damn it! He didn't like that. Oh, that has reach. Got a grab. Ooh, that um, does not have very good hyper armor. I need to dodge into him for that attack, definitely. embrace of flame. He pulls out the spears from the ground. Very clean rod of you, Mesmer. Fire Lord Mesmer. Um. If anything, it seems like this is used, or the uh, Ash of War seems more useful for the potentially the Scarlet Rot buildup. I don't think we've actually triggered it yet. Let's, um. We could go physical and fire, maybe. You know what? Also might be a thing. Fashion might not be necessary. I feel like this probably has poor fire resistance. That actually seems alright, honestly. 
Not as poor as I assumed. But, uh, it might be an option. At the very least, a little bit more defensive could be a good high idea. I would say a, uh, talisman that gives us more... That is definitely something I should avoid using too much. Ooh, lucky me. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. You're killing me here. That's definitely a grab. That's just a big combo. Death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. He is like wacky looking. Or is that is that snake in him, part of him, or is it just his pet? Is it his friend? I would kind of hate to not use this weapon. I don't think the weapon's really an issue at all. It's just. Could try jump attacks, maybe. Ha! Huh. I think if I um dodge that good, we could probably get the uh, ash off. It's over. Okay, I'm surprised the uh, stuff didn't come out of the ground. Wrong flask. Gotta love it when that happens. In the embrace of Mesmer's flame. You are just such a lanky boy. I bet all the Tumblr girls love you. Do people still use Tumblr or do they really screw the pooch on that? Really didn't have anything else to add to that topic of Tumblr. Honestly, I want to move past it, so let's just move past it. It's a shame that has no hyper armor. Kind of getting somewhere a little bit. I think I probably should try dodging more to the right than the left. God, I got time. Don't know why I walked in. Oh. My jump attack is, uh, less wide than I would expect. Okay, he drags. Well, that attack seems like I'm kind of safe if I stay near him. Who's that? What was that I just saw? I got, like, really distracted by something. I feel like that might be better to try to dodge through those uh, spears than anything. Um, I don't know if I should try to go for jump attacks. Were any of the crystal... I keep calling them crystal tears. They're like tears. They're something. Do any of these seem like they would be helpful? Explosion, yep. Blood flame, stamina. Just damage. This is the one that only does it once, too. Grant attack, HP, restoring effect. Uh, 
I doubt that would be helpful. Charge attacks not happening. Holy attacks, lightning, fire, magic. I could try spontaneous guard. How effective do you think that would be? Yeah, I don't... I don't think any of those are really going to be great options. Just wanted to see. backwards okay a, l a little bit extra on that one you could have just stabbed me you didn't have to do the whole thing the whole pyrotechnics not even that projectile oh well, i'm dead Both stripped of the grace of gold shadow death in the embrace of mesmer's flame should i up my arcane actually i'm curious i'm not going to up my arcane but I guess it's a way I could look at this. Raises arcane, uh, display, other display. Okay, that doesn't help me. I'll just look at it from here. No, actually. That does not cause more rot buildup. It might not be enough arcane to cause more rot buildup. Boost it some more. It's all stuck at 55. Does it do more damage? 301191 A little bit, not really a lot. I know 20 was like some kind of soft cap for Arcane, but I think it I think Arcane's weird in that you kind of always get a benefit from it even if you upgrade it a bunch. So I'm surprised that that doesn't cause more scarlet build up to build up quick. Uh that 5 actually seemed the most significant. But it, it doesn't seem like that's really the issue with the weapon. It's not really an issue with the weapon at all. I'm just not able to dodge. This has not, like, I'm trying to come up with excuses when it's very clear that I'm just not dodging. I can't see. My uh, butterflies kind of got in the way. Shouldn't have gone for another hit, but. Okay. Kind of panic rolled there. Just devote your spear, dude. Good thing I wasn't over there. Mm, I need to dodge sooner. Please stop. If I get around you. Oh, really? Getting around you seems pretty all right. I think I definitely need to just not try so hard with the, uh, the ash. Since it doesn't power through, it's not really helping me. I think I need to not worry about the idea of potentially, uh, Scarlet rotting him. I, I don't think this is fast enough, or at the very least, I'm not hitting him fast enough to make it worthwhile. So I need to just focus on getting attacks off. But 
besides that, kind of crazy how effective dodging was there. It's like if I just play the game, I can get good damage off. Oh, yeah, I can. Wow. I'm just winning now. I'm trying to charge. Oh, cutscene for a second phase. He's a fancy boy. He gets a bonus cutscene. Rolana didn't get two cutscenes. She didn't even get one. I didn't realize I he had two snakes. Not suffer. Our Lord, devoid of light. No, mother. Forgive me. That was a Nemo. Yo, dog, why you do that? Why is that gonna give you a power boost? your helmet go you know I didn't really think about Soon it tarnished wilt thou be taken in the jaws Of the abyssal serpent, shorn of light. We can actually see inside there a little bit. I am. Um, oh. oh no 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 no! What are you doing? Okay. Get him! I shouldn't have done this. That was stupid, Creed. Oh. Oh. Snake. It's a snake. He spins. He's. Snakes. Should have attacked. I'm panicking. That's a normal move. That's a grab, and I was in the middle of healing because of scared. Okay. So it seems like he has normal moves except for that spin and snakes. Ooh. Somehow dodge a snake that I didn't even know was there. Oh. Wasn't ready. I'm, I'm like in the middle of something. There was like, um, embrace thine oblivion. As shall I, residual damage happening there. Okay, second phase. It's a, it's a lot to take in. I'm not gonna lie there. That was a lot of things that were happening. Uh, that, like, start-up attack seemed like the same as what he did when he starts up normally, so it's just a matter of timing it. Obviously, I panic-rolled a bunch. I don't know when he actually strikes me down. I was gonna say, going for, um... Yeah, you just throw at me. Going for a jump attack wasn't the best option when I don't know how to properly jump right. I was thinking about the fact that we actually... There we go. Yeah, we can definitely dodge through that. 
definitely seems like an option. I need to not panic roll when he goes in the air. Because that actually seems like I can just hide under him. Although, it's a bit of an explosion. I have, like, less range than I expect myself to have. It is a little bit of an issue, too. Okay, I do think I need to dodge yeah. that a little bit, In the but I also, I need to, I'm kind of doing okay-ish at normal reacting to a move to dodge, although I think it's a lot more panicky than a, like, a good attempt at this would be. I think what I, um, need to do is actually just tell what his combos are, so I know exactly when the combo ends to do the punish. It's very much the same as Vilana. Like, if I just can figure that out, I think we'll have an okay time at the very least with this first phase. Good. Way too late on that. Thank you. Mulligan. But I, I, if I go for jump attacks, we might have a better time of staggering him a little bit. Didn't realize you were doing this. I need to learn when this attack is happening. It's obviously when he's jumping around way more, clearly he's working on that. Um let's try getting rid of Do you think I need the stamina? I'm gonna see if I can be okay without that. We'll see if we can get some more damage off of jump attacks, maybe. You know what probably helped a lot with the, um... Saint of the Bud fight? Was the fact that I had, um... I could actually benefit. Good miss from the strength part of Flame Grant Me Strength and not just a defense. It's just kind of... Those strength of the grace of gold, Shadow. That wasn't yeah. the poke. In the uh, I, maybe I shouldn't do Claw. Play. I think the thing with Claw is that I'm just not really hitting good with the jumps. I'll try a little bit more, because if I can get it to work, it might help a little bit more. But uh, yeah, if you don't know, Flame Grant Me Strength boosts my... Probably not the best time to talk about it. I keep overshooting him, that's so stupid. good damage if I can hit. But like I said, I keep overshooting him, especially when it's like free. Okay. I dodge two too. Uh, flame grant me strength In gives me a little bit of a defense of boost, but also raises strength. my uh, fire attacks. So I mainly use it for the defense boost, but when I actually have a fire weapon, it's kind of nice to also get that attack boost, which I probably... Got a pretty nice chunk for on that great sword I had. I could try getting a little bit more fire defense. Hey, I hit him. Kind of crazy when he doesn't. Mm, I was kind of right. Like I knew that that was going to be the big combo. Embrace. Um. Flame. 
I was gonna say, when he doesn't actually set his blade on fire, that actually super throws me off. Because the, the one benefit I have here is that he's very, uh... It's easier to kind of read him when he's on fire. steps maybe there may be like a little bit of an extra I'm surprised I'm alive honestly not for long because I, I think when I was mashing I in the embrace flipped around a little too much down there I was trying to mash buttons in case it got me out of there sooner and uh it probably did but in my haste I made a grave mistake Gotta love the pre-boss ritual. did actually mash out of that sooner. Fuck, man. Good whiffs. It would be helpful if I didn't whiff so much. In the embrace. Which honestly is still making me think that maybe I shouldn't go for jump attacks. I don't know if it... I know jump attacks are supposed to break uh, stance quicker, but I if it. All right, let's see. Maybe consecutive hits. I don't. Because if I'm just gonna use like R ones, consecutive hits might actually be a good option. But I think I'm uh, causing myself more heartache by trying to go for. the jumps because I could probably get a couple R1s on him when he um does this that's way more damage than my jumps were doing was a little silly for trying to do that. Dodge too soon. I was hoping for a stance break there. If the grace of gold shall all meet death. In yeah, the just not going Mesmer's for jump attack seems to work better. I am not getting that Scarlet Rock. I'll tell you that for free. I don't even know if I'm getting good consecutive hits. If it's enough to warrant any of that. I know you could see it probably in the um the top corner. I think there's a good indicator of it happening. But uh, if you can imagine, not really in a position to like straight up watch that. Ah, uh, you 
been too much. I need to just figure out how to avoid the uh, multi poke. Honestly, I think that's what keeps catching me the most there. I was, I am able to kind of get an idea that like, yes, he's going for big combo, which is half the battle. It's part of the battle. I could try getting kind of super aggressive with the um, black flame protection. I expected another swing like that. Okay. Grace of gold that combo I wasn't really ready for, clearly. Of Mesmer's flame. Um, the problem with Black Flame Protection, why that is something I don't use as much as Flame Grant Me Strength, is it does not last very long. But it might help a little bit. Pretty sure it's a uh, flame grant me strength kind of spell. What I need to do with it is uh do it last. like stamina to get up what happened there god damn it all right a little too early but almost there i think you can see how effective black flame really is Didn't really, um... Oh, we did get Scarlet Rod eventually. Cutscene? Can we get the cutscene to play? Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, we did eventually get Scarlet Rod, so that could... kind of work out. I just don't think we, um... I don't remember when it showed up, but if we hyper-aggressive... It would've... I, again, I just don't know if the, um... I don't know how successive we're being, if this is actually effective or not, compared to potentially what this might do. I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with this for now. I do think Flame Grant Me Strength is helpful. I don't think we really need to worry about getting our blue back up, because we're just kind of going to get in there and get going, right? Long flask, love to see it. Mm, one day I will dodge that good and not accidentally hit the D-pad when trying to mash. Please stop.
please let me dodge in safety. Swing for another poke. Shouldn't have gone in because he's jumping. Shouldn't have attacked because he's jumping. Not way too aggressive because he's jumping. Embrace of Mesmer's flame. Yeah, I'm feeling that grace, all right. We have time to, not that it matters too much, but just save us a little bit of. Yeah, basically. I mean, we're just waiting for him to do that move. He always leads with it. That worked out. That, not so much. Ooh! Kind of surprised I got that out because he was clearly coming at me after I... Ooh, nice. Very nice. What's happening right now? Okay, getting way too greedy because I want second phase to happen. <laughs> Would be cool if we got the um, Scarlet during that. Um. Okay, I, uh, I feel like there were things I wanted to say. Let's just get in there. So he's at least at the head, which is nice. Those snake moves seem... Not the worst. That one kind of blows because of uh, when he did it. Damn. Embrace thine oblivion, as shall I. Like, the thing with the snake moves is they're very punishable, at least. Like, when he's done with it, it just kind of sits there to, like, despawn the snake. And then you're good to go. I don't think... I don't think I scarlet at him at all. to see the throw. Honestly, he's very punishable. If you're just good enough, he gets up quick, though. He was going for another swing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you, Mesmer. Please give me more. I think he actually had rock because his health was going down. All right, skip it. Okay. 
I didn't see it. It was behind him a little bit. Oh! He's going full Hydra! Lucky. Please not more. Oh, he thought he was going for more attacks. I guess I was wrong about... Oh, punishable if I wasn't... Out of flasks. Yeah, nice toe. Come on, stun. <sighs> God, if I can get one more stagger off, I think I was doing pretty all right there, all things considered. Especially considering I was able to dodge the, uh, Mr. Snake's wild Hydra thing going on. Because that was a, a little much. Went a little too effort on the uh I need to stop trying to attack when he's in the air. Honestly didn't think he would do this again. I kind of thought it was a one-and-done move. Hmm, just a little too late. I survived. We survived these. It's, uh, I had the one really good run that I think I was doing very well. And then it, uh, didn't go so hot anymore. So, I am hitting him fast enough that I am getting Scarlet Raw. Let's see how effective this might be compared to... I just don't know the, um... Decay on the consecutive hits. Like, if I knew exactly how long I had between consecutive hits, I could kind of guesstimate how effective it is. could have came got it in there the good thing is the pokes don't do that much damage comparatively if I can just dodge through everything else it would be nice if I didn't have to get hit by the pokes but Love being on the wrong flask. I am scarleting him, but because I keep missing him, can't really see how much good damage it does. Okay, we got one. Ugh. 
Oh, the Scarlet got him. The Scarlet got him before he could get me. too much here. I'm doing poor. I'm... Okay, choked a lot there. Those like Marga, those snakes should have been easy. Upon thee. Those like those snakes I kept getting hit by should have been easy, but I was just choking. That was a fun fight. I I liked that a lot. Mesmer's kindling. I guess that's what we need it. I um. Woo! That was a fun fight. Mesmer was really really fun. It's, it's kind of the same thing as, like, Bloodborne. The humanoid fights are, like, really just enjoyable. Because you get the, um... Mesmer and Rolana, I think, have been my favorite so far. Because it really feels like I've learned them and did good against them. So, I, uh, I really liked that. Uh, we get, we get one, we get one bonus. Okay, so any, where else to go? There's nothing else here than I'm um, assuming to do the water. I probably missed something in this area. Because I guess we got the kindling, which then leads us to getting this done, which is what we need to do to get to this. So I need to figure this out so we can actually get down here. Just like that's going to be a long path. All right. Whew. And then what what is this, America? Oh. Hello. What cruelty is this? Who would rob me of my one vital purpose? Am I so feeble, witless, dull of blade, that vengeance was never to have been mine? Right. You want it to Kill Mesmer. Oh, mother. Oh, most cherished wife and child. It seems vengeance was not mine to enact. Where now should I point my tired blade? Where now should I point? Right. Was that what I... Well done. Yeah, thank you. If that's America, like, it's holding a baby, different from her being, uh, crucified. Um, I think at a certain point, I might have seen him. His summon sign, I think, might have been in the arena. Because I saw, like, a person, and I thought it was just a message existing, but, like, of a different color for some reason. I, uh, probably should have summoned him. That's a shame. Oh, well. I, I definitely would have preferred... I, I prefer the fact that I fought Mesmer alone. I wouldn't have liked having someone around, I guess, so I'm, I'm good with that. But it, uh... is a shame that I, I kind of cuckold at his revenge plot. 